And what do I think about the difficulty of RTX in Endgame? In Endgame? I mean, I guess not including level reset dungeons, because I guess that doesn't particularly matter. I mean, if you use your vitamins, yeah, it's... Like, you eventually get to a point where you're very much overpowered compared to everything else. But I mean, you have to play the game a decent bit to get to that point. What determines accuracy in this game? Well, it's not the same as later PMD games where, like, it's either based off your speed or whatever. Jeez. I am having way more trouble with Chikorita than I really feel like I should be. I mean, admittedly, the first five levels, I there's nothing I can actually do about that, because I just need to get bulk by leveling up a couple times. But, man, Chikorita is not able to do anything right now. But, I mean, accuracy is just determined by accuracy, really. Every move has a certain amount of accuracy. Um, and that, that's about it. <laughs> and then it can be raised or lowered depending on moves that are used on it. Chikorita, what the actual... F I might just have to give up on this at this point. What the heck? I'm already on the fifth try. Because I normally only do five tries or an hour with Pokemon. I feel like Chikorita is getting exceedingly unlucky though. I don't even know what I'm gonna do. Oh my, yeah, no, you're just dead. You're just actually dead. <laughs> what the fuck? I mean, that was try five. I'm supposed to stop, but I'm gonna give it one more because usually Pokemon get past the first floor. You know, I was hyping Chikorita up, but it, it sucks. <laughs> I mean, once it hits level five, it, it can at least do things, but till then it sucks. Yeah, no surprise there. Just wake up. No way, that did- Why is it still doing five? I guess it's because it's in level one, but what the hell. All right, we're almost at level five, and then we shouldn't die immediately to everything. Even that's still doing a lot of damage, but it is better. I want the Insomniscope, but I- there's no way I can afford it, so unless I find something I can sell on this floor, which that- likely means that, uh, no, there's nothing to sell. Do I think RTDX is re replayable just with Purity Force gameplay, assuming you cleared all dungeons? I mean, okay, replayability as in continuing from your file and just playing through everything, like, after you've done all the dungeons and stuff. Because, I guess... Well, with Purity Force, yeah. Purity Force is always something that's replayable. Um... As for the rest of it, I guess there's not really that much incentive to clear everything else once you've done it once. Best I can say is doing like a recruit them all for the game, or uh, trying to get all the shinies. But yeah, no, doing the uh, Purity Force challenge in RTDX is definitely something. It's something I might try to like actually do at some point, because Ephra's been doing it and has managed to get some pretty wild Pokemon to clear. Alright, there's Razor Leaf. It's too bad I don't have a Doom Seed this time, so I can't get double Razor Leaf, but the single's pretty cool. Alright, hopefully we can find a Kek Shop on 7F. Or even here would be cool. And no, when you enter Purity Forest, uh, any sort of like stat gains get reset because you're put back to level... well, level 1 for this game, level 5 for Rescue Team DX. Although the one thing that doesn't get like, reset or changed, which I'm kind of surprised about, is your rare quality. And that can certainly make a huge impact on your Purity Forest runs. Although without there being a way to actually get rare qualities while being in a dungeon, I can kind of see why they ended up doing that. Alright, at the very least, I'm finally getting somewhere again. <laughs> Although this time my inventory is looking a lot worse than before, so hopefully I can find something good around here, especially on this floor. Uh, how often do people use Legendaries and Megas for RTDX? I mean, for most of it, you could use it as personal preference. Like when I did my casual playthrough, I used uh, the legendary birds on my team. Also, no cat shop feels bad. I mean, ultimately, it's just really up to personal preference. Like the size is something, but it feels like it doesn't matter as much as it did in prior games. That might not be good, actually. Um, I'm gonna blast you just in case. I'm a little bit too low on HP to uh, go for a struggle that may not kill. 
Uh, well, science doesn't really matter in Purity Forest because, well, specifically for this game, it doesn't matter because you're not recruiting anything. And in Arts DX, it's... You don't... From what I've seen, recruiting isn't something that, like, does a whole lot for you. Although you can certainly use it. So it typically doesn't matter too much. Yeah, I mean, Chikorita's HP, I mean, it's, it's a little bit low, but... It would be fine if it didn't start out at level 1 with zero special defense and very, very low defense. That is death. Why did you roll triple kick? Okay, I guess we're done with Chikorita for now because I've taken six tries with this thing. When I normally only do five for Pokemon, uh, it just doesn't really have stats, and the one attempt that actually had a chance, I got very unlucky with Giga Drain. So I guess we're moving on. <laughs> we're going to Snorlax next, which may not be any better. It should at the very least survive the first couple floors, and that will at least be nice, be able to actually play the video game. Although admittedly, there is very few Pokemon that can survive a triple kick like that, especially that early on. So. I don't really blame Chikorita for that death whatsoever. I mean, if, if it ever gets redeemed again, I will certainly be more than willing to do it, because I feel like it can definitely go far. It just requires a decent early to start it off. So yeah, immunity and thick fat. Honestly, not too bad. And then 250 to the next level, which is not impossible, especially because we'll have tackle into struggle. But it may take a bit. Snorlax is ready to get revenge for Chikorita, just destroying everything here. <laughs> Doom Seed. Well, unless Snorlax learns a move early that I can use. Wow, wait, am I really only gonna have three items? Oh, here we go. I like the Geo Pebbles. That's been like the first actually useful thing I've seen so far. Also, yeah, so a Doom Seed decreases your level by one. So, normally that would not really be a help whatsoever. Like, maybe you could throw it at an enemy Pokemon, but for the most part, you're not really going to be using it on others. However, what you can do with it in this specific game is you can learn the same move multiple times. So, if you level up into a move and you want to have it again, then you decrease your level, and then it brings you to like 1 EXP needed to the next level. You have to level up again, but all you need to do is just beat one enemy and you'll instantly get to the next level. And then you're back at the same level with both of that move. Uh, okay, I do have grimy food, so I'm gonna need to use that soon. Okay, so I can't get poisoned. Burn would be the only bad thing that I could see. Alright, so I don't have food, and that could be a problem. I need to really find some food right now. Uh, if, if I had gotten tackle from level 2, then yes, if I ate it right now, I would go back to level 1, I beat one enemy, and then when I level up to level 2, I get the move again, and so then I have two tackles. Snorlax is going to start at this rate. I'm going to die at this rate, actually. I'm gonna blast seed this for food and to not die. Oh, well there's food. Uh, alright, I need that before anything, so I'm just gonna eat that straight up. Why does it have to be sticky? That'd be so good, but I can't use it if it's sticky. I, I gotta be really careful here. That thing could probably kill me. I'm just gonna throw two pebbles at it and that should be fine. Patsy, okay, yeah, so none of the other stuff is all that good. I guess I'll sell the Doom Seek because I don't think I'm leveling up in anything too interesting. We'll hopefully get a chance to do it again sometime, but uh... Yeah, it... Oh, I'm dead. Well, that's unfortunate. See, this is why I need Frost that's not sticky. Also, yeah, Pokemon tend to spawn just wherever they can, really. Ooh, alright, I like that. We're not gonna use it yet, because I wanna get EXP. But, that is good. Also, food is really good, so I don't start starving, like, earlier. Which is part of the reason that contributed to my death. You would like to see Feebass, Magikarp, Ditto? Well, I have done Magikarp and Ditto before. I did. Like, if you've seen my YouTube channel, I do have a video of one attempt I had with Magikarp that was, like, actually nuts. But, yeah, I, I don't remember how I did with Ditto. I know that I've done it before, but I forget how that actually went. 
What are my best speedruns? Like, my best... Okay. Uh, it kind of depends on the context you're asking for. Like, what are my best speedruns to do in general? Like, what are my favorite speedruns? Which speedruns do I think are the most fun? Or which speedruns do I have times that I'm really happy with? Because depending on which one it is, I guess that, that can be different for any of them. So which ones am I most proud of? What would it be? I guess my blue rescue team, any percent, no quick saves, no wonder mail run. So like the standard category for the game. That one I'm quite happy with, although I do want to improve it further someday. Uh, and then also my sword, any percent speed run with DLC, the crook run. Do I think I can improve it? Because it's certainly possible. Did not think it would kill me. I was really trying to save Tackle, but I guess I should have just tackled again. I'm pretty much just waiting for something, like, really good that I can actually use with Snorlax, instead of a sticky frustration TM. Because until then, I assume that none of these runs are going to get too, too far. Now that I think about it, what was... Actually, okay. Oh, I'm going to die. Uh, okay, good. I did just enough damage to kill it. But yeah, we're not exactly using S tiers here. There's a lot of things that can kill me. Uh, the main problem was that it died instantly at the low levels. Because the thing about Trickerita is that it levels up pretty quick. You f you defeat any enemy and it's going to level up. <laughs> All the way up until like level 5 or 6. <laughs> the problem was that at level 1, Chikorita had... What was it? Like... It was zero special defense, which meant that it got obliterated by Bellsprout, since it uses Vine Whip, and Grass is a uh, Grass is special in this game, since it is a Gen 3 game. And then it also had very, very low defense. It wasn't zero, but it was like one or two or something. But yeah, zero special defense at level one, which I don't think I've seen from any other Pokemon before. So that was just brutal to see. <laughs> But yeah, poor Chikorita just does not have a good time early on. I'm sure that it can definitely do its thing once you've uh, once you've gotten some levels on it. And I mean, that was the case initially on like the first or second run, but most of the runs were not able to... Uh... Oh, that's so bad. Oh, it's a Caterpie. All right, that's less bad. All right, level two. At least it actually does have decent stat gains. And so the struggle strats begin. I don't have any max elixirs, so we are kind of forced to use them. I'm actually finding a lot of executes, which is kind of nice. Dodge Scarf, Pass Scarf... Alright, so we 100% want the Pass Scarf. Problem is, there's no way I can afford it, which means we might be, uh... We might be doing some stuff here. Uh... Yeah, everything else. We'll keep definitely do whatever selling I can. If I can afford the pass scarf, that'd be nice. But I'm gonna go with the assumption that we're gonna need to get out of there and steal it. Hmm. Dang. So the stairs are actually not that far away, but I don't know if I can make it there in time. All right. Well, we get everything back, so uh, if there's another Kek Shop on this floor, that'd be pretty neat. Oh wait, you can learn Ice Beam? Sure, you know what? Why not? That, honestly, just why not? <laughs> uh, let's see what else we have here. Not really much else, so we'll just move on. Okay, we're gonna just wait on the stairs for a moment. Uh, I'd rather not die if I can help it. Yeah, that works. Kind of like took the freeze with it for a moment. All right, so the main concern right now is food. And yeah, stealing from Keck can be quite scary. It honestly depends on the way you do it, but there's so many ways that you can potentially steal from Keck that it is actually pretty interesting to try a bunch of them. Also, I was really hoping that there'd be a Keck shop here. And good luck with the Destiny Tower attempts, Uncle Dunk. That is something I want to try someday as well, but right now it is Purity Force time. And yeah, typically the YOLOs are a bit easier. 
well, not easier, but there's less at stake early on. Although there are definitely times where, like, you're worried about stealing even on early floors because it's stuff that, that you really, really want to keep, but there's stuff in the Keck shop that uh, would be really, really helpful. The dumbest thing I've died to in Purity Forest, huh? I mean, I've died to a lot of dumb things. I'm not too sure which one is the dumbest. Huh, Amnesia? I guess I should probably get rid of that for the moment. Also, dang, four joy seeds on 2 Like, it'd be nice being able to get that many items from this dungeon. I guess Destiny Tower is just different that way. So, wait, which non-baby mon are you least looking forward to running for Purity Forest? Non-baby mon? Uh, I guess something that just doesn't have... It would have to be something that doesn't have much stats and also can't learn Frost or something. Probably a boss Pokemon. Then I get metronome guillotine once, probably. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised if I did. That sounds like something that would have happened. I mean, I'm not too sure. I've made like death compilations for Purity Forest in the past. I assume I probably have something there that's pretty dumb. Ooh, another tract, huh? Interesting. Oh wait, no, that was last one that I had it. So this is my first attract of this room. An unknown is probably the case, although it's unknown a baby Pokemon, because I I don't know. So it doesn't level up, it's a little bit weird. Or not evolve. But yeah, I've cleared Dunsparce. I'd say that was probably my second wildest clear. If I can just find a Keck shop and get that money, that should definitely help with a lot of it. Uh, the Patsy Band, from what I remember, makes it so if you're holding it, you're more likely to get hit by crits. Yeah, no, I mean, if you can give it to a Pokemon you're about to fight, I guess that could be something, but... Yeah, for the most part, that isn't an item you really don't use, ever. Jeez, these things really want to just... Monster House on this floor, huh? We're probably gonna see a Monster House on the next floor, so that's... Slightly unfortunate. I'm not too sure how I'm going to actually deal with this. I might just need to leave. Yep. Monster houses are pretty common here, so... I'm not too surprised. I just can't take chances with Exeggutor. One Hypnosis, and it is over. Oh, what? Alright, this is a floor. I was worried that it might do that. I'm just gonna be safe here. Ooh, definitely taking a Petrify Orb. Another Monster House, although this time a little bit more difficult to deal with. The only thing that can even damage me is Quick Attack from the Scyther, and that definitely can't kill me, so... And it killed itself anyway, so cool. Ooh, I want that Citrus Berry. Where are you, Scyther? No, I'm so close. Just let me have the citrus berry, please. Cheese. Oh. Okay. I might need to use the citrus berry just to... I have to use it to heal now. Alright, cool. Well, let's just leave now. I wasn't really going to grind here. Yeah, that's not gonna do too much to me. Although I will take Nornberry. I feel like at this point, now I can start getting rid of the items that I'm only keeping for money. Honestly, an extra 500 is not really gonna help me for a lot of these. I'll keep one just in case, but for the most part, I don't think that's gonna matter too much. I have a lot of orbs though. I don't normally have this many orbs on hand. I do need to find food. So hopefully there will be something. I might need to teach a tract act, actually. Ooh. Hmm. Alright, these max luxes would be nice if I had frustration. <laughs> but, I mean, I could use tackle, but it wouldn't be as good. Eh, I'll get rid of the sleep seed for now. <sighs> Only 10 hunger left. This is not looking good. I guess now we are starting to get forced to move along. Which means I think it is time for learning attract. I'm gonna need to Ornberry.
No. Literally just a step more. Are you kidding me? Dying to starvation is uh, fairly common. <laughs> Interesting. All right. This is almost certainly going to be the last Nolax attempt because past scarf is very good. As long as I get food. And we have food. Perfect. All right. We have past scarf and food. Uh, I do want that. Um, nothing else is too interesting there. But I might be able to steal from that keck shop with my past scarf. Real question is, do I want to take that risk? Like, at best, I put on the Past Scarf and Quick Seed, which only will get me so far, so it's... There's just nothing in there that would be able to help me get out. And at best, I'm getting a Life Seed, which realistically is not something worth losing a Past Scarf for. There we go. Wait, I can learn Focus Punch, can't I? Hmm. You know what? Sure, why not? We'll also give my Max Elixir another target. Uh, yes, Kecleon has Psybeam, and that will go through past Scarf, because it is ranged. Although, the thing about Kek that I don't fully know is whether it always has the same moveset, or if it's varied, depending on the Kecleon. Because I feel like I've seen use Kek use more than four moves, but could be wrong. Also, yeah, Smoochum is a usual one for doing a uh, Destiny Tower. It's unfortunately not as good in this game, although it's still not too bad. I believe Smoochum was... it was one of the longest clears I had for a long while. Like, it was the longest until the uh, Apom run. And I mean, Apom is now the Pokémon that has taken me the longest to clear. Because that run was over two hours, which... not very often that that happens. Also, yeah, it's quite wild seeing the difference between Kecleon in this game and Kecleon in Explorers. It's, yeah, they made Kecleon stupid powerful for uh, level resets in this game, but in Explorers, he, he gets screwed over. Uh, it's not really a move pool thing. I mean, it kind of is, but it's not like a difference in move pool. It's a difference in stats. Hmm. I don't have a Warp Seed yet, so I'm actually going to take this. And if I do get into a bad situation where I need to get out, then... I can cleanse or Warp Seed. Huh, pretty early Monster House, actually. Nope, oh, there's something here. <laughs> and Attract is back. Alright, 